We need an engine and fuel that not only gives you permission, but energy to dive into your passions. For our clients, we want them to go on a mission, right? To create a mission of, of a goal that has to do with your passions. Because when you meet people, they're going to ask you about you and you need a story about who you are. And if you don't have that story, one will be attributed to you. And that story will be attributed by behaviors and your presentation without any deeper thought than that. And that will be based on pattern recognition that people have. So for instance, when I'm out and being social, people typically are going to see a, a rock and roll dude. And what comes with that is a lot of stereotypes and, and, and behavioral recognition patterns that people have to that person. Now, if I don't talk to people and I don't discuss my mission, right, that is going to be the picture they have in their head, which is going to create the story about me. And if they had bad experiences with those types of people, well, that's going to be attributed to me as well. And what we're looking to do is to shatter people's perceptions so they have to create one based on who you are in front of them at that time. And this is why creating your story is so important, specifically a story that has a goal. And telling this story, it doesn't matter if you reach the goal or not. That's not what people are going to remember. People are going to remember where you are in that story and how they relate to it. So if, if I have my mission, and this is one that I chose when I was living in Vegas for the first time, that I was going about making a record uh, due to the songs that I wrote in a, in a dark time during the beginning of the, the pandemic. That was a mission that I had chose. And when I moved to Vegas, people who earned that story that I thought were cool, I would tell them of what I was doing here and what I was working on. And people went out of their way to try to help me. Oh, I know this producer that you got to meet. Oh, I know this drummer you got to meet. Oh, I have a friend who's got a studio that, that would love to help you out. And they were going out of their way to help me out. And, and not because this mission was complete, because this mission was not finished. And when you tell your story in a mission form, if it's not complete, it's stuck. People naturally go, how do we finish it? How do we get this done? And they go into their mind and their Rolodex to see how they can fix it. Because we operate on a problem, solution, oriented, analytical mind. When that story happens, that's where people are going to go. They hear the, the emotion in it and then they want to help. So they're looking for a solution. This is what makes you memorable. This is what sticks in people's heads. Don't let fear hold you back from your passions and certainly not expressing those passions when meeting and connecting with other people. Now, one of the patterns we've recognized in a lot of our clients over the years is they have passions but because they pursue those passions alone, as a lone wolf, they avoid talking about it in conversation with others or bringing it up. Whether that's rock climbing, whether that's hiking, mountain biking, whether it's your pursuit of the piano, because you're doing it alone, because the passion doesn't involve other people, well, I can't bring that up in conversation, AJ or Johnny, like that's my passion, that's between me and myself. And What's interesting about that mindset is it actually holds us back not only from connecting with other people who share that passion, but bringing people into our life and our passions.